So the farm started 40 years ago when this site was the largest slums in Europe. When the local council decided to demolish all of the houses on site, um, this area was left to become a school. And once the school was no longer needed, um, it was just turned into wasteland. The local residents then started growing food on the site and they got chickens and a goat. And it really just went from there. So we have a massive range of animals here at the farm. We have chickens, goats, turkeys, geese, all in the paddocks behind us right now. Um, in the paddocks further up here, we have cows, goats, ponies, sheep and pigs. Um, we have lots of different kinds really. Uh, we have uh, golden guernseys, which are in the paddock. Uh, we have angoras, which we're just walking past now. We also have our kuni kuni pigs, which are actually from New Zealand, which were actually micro pigs apparently. Not all that micro. So the farm is funded not solely by one organisation, but we have to apply to as many grant giving bodies as we can. Uh, we do get about 5% of our funding from the local council as well, but it's always a struggle. So we have to utilise a massive team of volunteers. We have 130 each week. And that's just really the bare minimum of looking after the animals. There's still a lot of jobs that we have to do around the farm, which we have to get help from Boots, Experian, and a lot of other big brands around Nottingham. They do team volunteer days here at the farm. <laughs> uh, it's great to support them. <laughs> So we work for Enterprise Rents Car and every year as part of our Jack Taylor founding values, who's the owner of Enterprise, we help uh, strengthen our local community. So today we're volunteering at the farm. So for general volunteers, um, anyone can apply. They have to be above 14, but all hands are helpful. For team challenges, so corporate volunteers, um, they can just drop us an email and we'll do everything we can to get them here. So this is one of our pygmy goats. She'll get roughly to the same size as a staffy, and she's now been here for about two months. She is normally a bit more cuddly than this, She's just a bit hungry. So we do work with a lot of farms around Nottingham and in the wider actually. Um, we rescue a lot of animals such as these guys. These are caged goats so they would all otherwise be orphaned or abandoned. So we spend a lot of our time feeding them at nights and making sure they're all healthy. We are putting a big push this year about selling more plants. So in previous years we have been developing on the amount of plants that we sell. This year has been really good so far. Um, and as you probably know we've been having a lot of funding issues recently. So trying to develop our internal revenue is really important for us. So we're really trying to hit hard on selling more plants, getting more repeat customers and I think we're getting there. It's really good. So we work with about 55 different schools every year, which bring about 3,000 students. Um, we take them all the way around the farm and teach them about where their food comes from. <laughs> also all about our animals and how they should be holding rabbits, guinea pigs and any of their other pets. Good, okay we need to go and wash our hands now. 
It can be quite important for people that don't really know where their food has come from, especially a lot of kids in this area. We will show them, this is the broccoli plant. A lot of kids will answer, what is broccoli? So it can be, can be quite entertaining sometimes, but it is very important, I think. Sorry, can I just grab some? So we do a lot of boarding here at the farm, which is where we look after people's rabbits when they go on holiday. We also do it for guinea pigs as well. It is only £3 a day and we give them a full, full health check every single day and they get them very well looked after. Very easy to get here. Um, we have a lot of people that come here on the buses as we only have a very small car park and even a lot of the locals just walk here as they totally just down the road. Compared to trying to get all the way out to the countryside, which isn't as easily done really. But um, yeah, it's, where we are in the city centre is very easy for us to get to schools. Because if we're in the countryside, only a handful will be able to get to us. Here, we have them coming at our ears. So the farm is very unique. Uh, I've been here for about four years now and no day is the same, ever. It's very fun.